several centuries old. Phil Donahue talks about that today with Roberta Flack, the singer who wears her own braided hairdo. Here's Phil in Chicago. Good morning, Jane, and hello from Chicago. Dr. Poteet, from a medical standpoint, how do you feel about quick weight loss and also guaranteeing that weight loss? Well, really, I'm opposed to any kind of quick kind of weight loss. Um, it's much better to uh, be on a prescribed dietary program.
no way that homes are going to get any less. Currently inflation, as you know, is about 18.2%. And even with the high interest rates that we're experiencing today, which is a relatively short-term phenomena, we think this is going to be taken care of in the near-term future, the next uh, two to three years or so, and that uh, home ownership is a way of life and should be had. <laughs> I'm sorry. No problem, we have it all together now. But we hope to be able to have our local realtors talk to their uh, mayors, their councilmen, because, for example, uh, one of the problems that we foresee is the vacancy factor in rental units. It's quite low, the lowest it's ever been in this nation's history. And that really is a danger signal because it doesn't say that the people who own the apartments are making a lot of money. What it really says is that there's a whale of a shortage in housing, in rental housing. And the reason that there's a shortage in housing is because the incentive has been taken away from individuals to build and invest in that type of thing. Therefore, we think there should be a re-examination of the no-growth policies that are in effect. This whole area that has restricted the development of housing, whether it be multifamily or whether it be single family. Now, I know uh, recently there's been the new mortgage policy, and that is, that is supposedly a plus in the home builder's favor. Are there any other programs like this? There are a lot of programs that are being brought about because of the uh, economic conditions that are existing today, a thing called a wraparound mortgage, for example. All of these things, incidentally, are done to permit the per home purchaser to buy the home of his choice. And as I say, one of them, for example, is the what's called a wraparound mortgage, where if you were to have, for sake of argument, a $20,000 equity in your house, and you wanted to sell it, uh, but the purchaser couldn't get the financing, he would agree to pay you an interest rate above the current level that you're paying on your interest rate so that he, in effect, would be making a payment to you and you would be making your payment on back to the mortgage company. It just wraps around your current mortgage. It gives him the availability of a lower interest rate than he might get through a lending institution, and it gives you, as the holder of that mortgage, the opportunity to make a reasonable return on your investment both of which would be below the current market level. One last question. Do you think that uh, the individual consumer will take advantage of all these programs and use them? We certainly hope he will because there's no way that housing is going to get any less under the present economic conditions or as we see them. And if we don't, we think they're making a very serious financial mistake. Thank you. Thank you very much. Could you hold it just sure. here? Sure, country is. Therefore, it's an extremely difficult time for people to find new houses. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, it's a great time really for people to go in and buy houses because uh, of the market conditions. They won't find them at any cheaper price. And so for those individuals right now to go out and buy all of the homes that they need to, to house their needs. So they're expanding their homes, they're finishing rooms in their attic. We have a severe housing crisis in this country that has not been met and cannot be met under the present economic conditions as we see it. So you're suggesting then that enough of money earned, our, our income is below our spending level, what do we do? We quit spending so much money, and that's all we're suggesting that the government does. We're not asking them to stop spending, but reduce their level of spending down to their level of income. Here, and a 2% reduction in spending next year.
We think it's a very simple solution, the same solution you and I and all of your viewers. Administration. The president talked today about the value of foreign car makers operating plants in the United States because these plants create jobs. And today, the makers of Datsun trucks said they will be opening a plant in the United States. In the meantime, the people in the American automobile industry are angry about imports, bosses, and workers. Roger O'Neill reports. One out of every four new cars sold in the United States this year has been foreign made. While sales of American-made cars in the first quarter dropped 15%, sales of Japanese cars, Toyota, Datsun, Honda, went up 32%. More than 200,000 auto workers are now out of work. In Detroit today, some picketed a dealer selling foreign cars. Several United Auto Workers locals have started a campaign to try to get people to start buying American again. The American industry needs time desperately to convert from large cars to small cars. It seems to me uh, the Japanese should uh, pause in what they're doing and uh, not exploit the market to the fullest. American car makers have stepped up their complaints that tariffs on imports are too low. But they also admit that the big three can't produce enough small cars. There's a heavy demand for those right now. The imports have them readily available. And as a result, they're getting a sharp increase in share. The current problem today is high interest rates, almost entirely, as far as General Motors is concerned. I'm sure that we could increase our business if we had more capacity for small cars. So uh, that is giving the imports an advantage. In terms of price and fuel economy, American small cars do compare favorably with the imports. But Americans think foreign cars are built better. Roger O'Neill, NBC News. In Washington, the Federal Reserve Board said today it will make loan money available to small... We wanted to show you Nutramatic's weight loss facility, but officials here wouldn't let us come in with our camera because the home office told them not to cooperate. No reason was given. We wanted to show you Nutramatic's weight loss facility, but officials here wouldn't let us come in with our camera because the home office told them not to cooperate. No reason was given.